It's Wednesday. All right, what's up, guys? Bums back again with a new video for you guys. First off, we just want to say thanks for watching our last two videos. They've been doing real well. And make sure to like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Also, check us out on TikTok. We just made one this past week, so check it out if you got one. So today we're going to be showing you guys kind of what we do when we train, especially under quarantine, since it's just me and him or sometimes just one of us. This is a one-man or a two-man tutorial bump style. Here we go. Alright, so the first thing we always do when we start playing volleyball, whether it's we're playing pickup or actually at a tournament, we warm up. It's always good to warm up. Get loose, shoulders are loose, blood flowing. So how do we warm up? We throw. Like this right here. So after we throw, we always hit. Keep that shoulder getting nice and loose. You can either, if you got a partner, hit to them, hit to the ground, to your partner, or you can even hit off the board that we have demonstrated in the video. So after we hit either off the board or to each other, we like to start hand setting back and forth to each other, work on our hands, getting those right, getting those loose, and starting our mental focus on the first step of ball control, seeing the ball, and getting it. Once we are nice and loose, finally got our shoulder loose, we've used our hands, we finally jump into peppering. So we get right into it, pepper into our partner. If you don't have a partner, here's the easy way of being able to hit off of a board and just continue to pepper, work on your pass, into the set, and into the hit. All working ball control, focusing on getting a good first touch, get the ball up in the air, moving your feet to the ball if you're gonna hand set it. Make sure you get square, get your feet under the ball, set it nice and high so you can step back and have a nice controlled swing back off the board or back to your partner. One way to really help improve your game by yourself when you have no partner is working on your ball control. So this includes bumping the ball to yourself repetitively over and over and over, 25 times, 50 times, 100, whichever really helps you just get that repetition down. Make sure you are moving your feet, getting to the ball, having nice controlled bump passes to yourself and make sure you do not arm swing. Use your legs, do not arm swing. Once you go from bumping maybe to 50 times, then you can move into setting with your hands. So you use your hands, again, move your feet, use your legs to set the ball. Do not use your arms, do not flick your wrist. Make sure you're a nice clean setting above your head. And then once you're done setting, you can go from a bump to a set. So you bump the ball up and set the ball, then receive it back into a bump and just work that again. Repetition, repetition, repetition. All right, so after alternating bumping and setting, we're gonna work on one arm ball control. So normally you would like to get two hands to a ball every time you can. Always try to get two hands, but you never know when you're gonna to need to use one arm. So we like to work on each arm ball control, just bumping up and down with our single arm. Make sure you do both arms, and then after you do both arms, we're going to start alternating. So hit it a couple times on one arm, then switch to the other, and then also start switching every bump. So after every bump, switch arms, alternating, keep alternating, you can move around, focusing on getting good touches, keeping that ball nice and controlled. Another board ball control drill that we love to run is the two-man alternate peppering system. So first person will serve the ball off of the board. Your partner will then step in to make the pass. You will step back in to make the set. Then your partner will finish off with a spike off the board and you will alternate back and forth peppering style off the board. This drill is our reaction drill. We do this by getting in front of the board in a low athletic stance. You can have anybody throw the ball off the board and right here we are just focusing on getting our hands to the ball as quickly as possible, trying to get a good touch. All right, so for this last drill, we like to call this our setting drill. Adam's gonna set up to the left side of our box. Anybody can do this next part. All you're gonna do is throw or hit the ball off the board. Your partner is going to run up, get his feet set under the ball, make sure you're square to whatever your target is. In this case, we are using our cart. It can be a cone, a person, or if you have your own cart, it does good at catching the ball after you set. So it just gives us a target to set towards. 
but you want to be sure you are square to your target, have a nice high clean set, and we just repeat this about 10 times each. If you made it to this point of the video, we just want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button also if you've made it this far. Make sure to check us out on our social networking systems, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, but more importantly, make sure to tell your friends. I don't know if we had it.